Okay, to start the row of military vehicles here at the Miracle of America Museum in Polson, Montana, we have what's called a Gamma Goat. This is an ambulance version. Uh, it's in the 70s. I can't remember the exact year. They built them for several years. Uh, articulated steering. These were amphibious, if you remember to put the plug in. <laughs> More than one plug. Okay, and then uh, very noisy, uh, a 371 Detroit diesel. and, and Hearing protection required is a tag inside on the dash, and better believe it. Then we come on to a Korean War vintage M38 uh, A1 Jeep. This is similar to the CJ5 Civilian that has the rounded fenders. The earlier model had a flat fender Jeep, and uh, these could be equipped with radio or, or a machine gun pedestal. The top could come down if you wanted. These were 24 volt four wheel drive. Next, we have a 1968 one half ton cargo truck called a mule. And uh, the platform truck was interesting in that uh, they were designed low. And the steering column, as you were coming up over a hill, if you had some enemy out there that you didn't want to see, I think it was a stupid idea, a stupid design but you could hinge down this steering wheel so you could walk, kind of crouch down along behind it and creep over the crest of the hill with a stupid steering wheel and the forward controls there. Or you could ride it, we, we use it in parades. It also has a, it has a 106 uh, recoilless rifle mounted on this one with a night scope and a spot, 50 caliber spotter rifle. And uh, we shoot, we put a liner in it, that, that, that would be a destructive weapon, but it's been demilled. And we put a, a liner in that uh, to, uh, and, and an air compressor and a small air tank, which you can barely see. And we shoot tennis balls across the yard at a, at a target. So the kids love, well, and adults too, love firing that. Next, we see a project. We'll skip around that, and I think we'll go around this M37, which is, uh, Korean War vintage of uh, what's called a weapons carrier, but they'd haul anything, ammo, crew, whatever. That's six cylinder Dodge, and we've had this in several parades. The uh, Humvee, and we've run, run it in the parades as well. We see a back view of another Gamma Goat. This is not the ambulance version, but a ammo carrier or weapons carrier, uh, civilians. I mean, not civilians, but uh, military personnel could ride in it. Next, we have probably our rarest Jeep is a real early Willys built. Uh, not, it's a March 1942, what's called a slat front grill. But also on this was a field installation. When I say field installation, the machine shops, the welding shops had to follow along uh, with, the, uh, with the troops to keep the machinery in repair. And if you watch the movie, The, uh, the Great Escape, where, where Steve McQueen captures this German motorcycle by stretching a wire across the road and catching the German operator around the neck and, and, uh, and he steals the motorcycle. Well, this is what this was designed for, was a wire cutter, real sharp on top, and it would protect the passengers in the Jeep if the enemy put wire across the road. It's a four cylinder, uh, Willie's Jeep, the uh, later versions had a little uh, pressed steel grill and, uh, and it, wasn't, it wasn't quite as uh, labor intensive as making a slat front grill when these first came out. Next from there you can probably see the uh, 1976 and 106, 107 millimeter mortar carrier. And this has a 671 Detroit diesel engine in it. It's pretty loud too, but not as loud as the Gamma Goats, surprisingly. Better muffler system. This one was the same chassis as the M113 personnel carrier, which was so popular during uh, during the Vietnam War and, and later. This one had a mortar in the back. Also, you see a 30 caliber machine gun, and up front you have a 50 caliber machine gun. And they also, the crew of five, carried M14 uh, uh, rifles. 
So it's a lot of fun to drive in a vehicle like that. You'd expect it to be rough, but it's not. It's very smooth. The bogey system and the uh, support wheels on the tracks, very smooth. This has street pads on it, so we can still run. There's still enough rubber left on those street pads. We still run it in the parades. Next we have, a we call it a liberated or captured from the enemy, uh, 1962 Nepper or Dnieper. Uh, this was built by the by the communists and uh, with the sidecar, and so we give rides on that as well, or have that in parades. Next, we have uh, another track vehicle that we've run on parades or give rides. A little little longer uh, track frame and chassis than the, than the motor carrier, and this carried ammo for the 106 uh, millimeter uh, howitzer rounds. Here we see. Some rounds here and some exploded projectiles down here. Uh, this also had the 671 in it. They both run perfectly. This one actually had 40 miles when we acquired it because we were a nonprofit museum. And at that time in our nation's history, we could receive, uh, we could receive certain military equipment because we're a nonprofit museum for display. And uh, so 40 miles on a, on a government rebuild came in almost perfect condition and some of the things, the, the rail and, and the machine gun mount were even still wrapped in Cosmoline. This winch has never been used, a, a, a winch and, and a, a tow chain up front here, never been used. We did add the tools that uh, the weather's kind of not the paint off of the handles, but uh, the axe and the pick and the shovel, which would have been standard equipment for most military vehicles. And we see one that we did a, a pretty complete restoration on. We call it our Freedom Truck, a 1943 six-wheel drive Dodge. Also a weapons carrier, the WC-62 on the front bumper. WC means weapons carrier, but also carried troops and so forth. WC was, was a pretty popular nomenclature for the Dodges. A six cylinder flathead engine in it. Very slow, but uh, very dependable. And uh, we've run that in a lot of parades. We see in the background there a, a Dodge ambulance of World War II. And uh, it, it's been in a, a parade. And then uh, over here, the, another uh, command car, which uh, you watch the movie Patton. Uh, coming across the desert to report to his new duty station in Africa, he's riding in the back of one of these. It's been, this one has been in a parade. In fact, we took first place in a float parade. We had a, pulling this, pulling a trailer, and we had uh, uh, our grandchildren on there all dressed in different uniforms, showing the different branches of the service, standing on a Jap and a Nazi flag and, and my granddaughter holding up her hand with a torch like she was a Statue of Liberty. So it was a very patriotic uh, entry. So it's no wonder we won first place, but I could speak uh, <laughs> proudly there. Okay, well, you get a kind, of a, a kind of a feel for the fact that we've got a lot of military vehicles here. We, we support the military. We pay tribute to them. We're thankful for them. We wouldn't be free without them. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the Miracle of America Museum.